Hey everybody, this is Fruity Elf and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build a really simple but awesome Minecraft stopwatch. So what you're going to need is a block of choice, you're going to need uh, some repeaters, you're going to need, a, need a re comparators, you're going to need some droppers, a couple of droppers, you're going to need a couple of hoppers, you're going to need a lever, and you're going to need some form of power input buttons or trip wires or pressure plates or something like that. So to build the timer you're going to need two droppers to face into each other, like that. Now bear in mind the two hoppers, uh, two droppers like that, the front of it is going to be there. Uh, so when you're building this that will be looking at the front. So then you need a comparator coming out of the right hand dropper going into a block. some dust which I didn't mention but you're going to need it, some dust there and then another block just there. Now that is the world's smallest T flip flop so if you just need a T flip flop, if you need to turn a button into a switch this is what you're going to use. Uh, but to turn this into a timer we're going to have to put an item into here and then we're going to have to put the, uh, the hoppers on top of this block here. So you put the, the two droppers down, you want to come around to the front and you want to put a hopper on there, a hopper facing into it and then delete the one behind and have the two hoppers facing into each other like that. And then in the back hopper you're going to need to put 64 items. It depends how long whatever it is your timing is going to last. If it's going to last more than 30 seconds or so, uh, sorry more than a minute or so, uh, you'll probably want more items in there. But if it's going to be less than a couple of minutes, then one stack would be would be fine. And that's the basic timing system done. Uh, now to make it look nice, you need to put a fascia on the front of it. So if we put a few blocks there, a couple of blocks there, and a few blocks there, we're going to need a redstone torch, a redstone lamp, sorry, on the front. doesn't have to be a lamp, but I like the lamp because when you activate it, it lights up. That's there to lock the front hopper. The front hopper needs to be locked before you start the uh, before you start the timer. Otherwise, items are going to just bounce from one <laughs> one hopper to another. Once the lights on, once it's locked, once that hopper is released, the items will flow from that hopper to the front hopper, and then you can count them. So you need to make sure that that's on, which is why I like having the redstone lamp on the front of it. Then you need to put a signal into the back dropper, into this dropper there. You need to do it as well using a repeater. You can't just do it with a redstone dust and you can't do it with a block. You have to power it directly. And then you need to run, put a redstone to wherever it is you want the input to be. This instance will have it here. So you want to check to make sure it's empty, the power's on, and then your race is started, your puzzle is started, your horse race is started and items are flowing from the back hopper to the front. When you finish doing your puzzle or you finish racing your horses or you finish racing your boats, press a button and the hopper freezes and that tells you how quick your horse or your boat or your run or whatever it is is. Uh, the higher the number, obviously the longer it's taking you to do. When you're happy, when you've taken down the figure, Click the switch and the items will flow back from the front hopper into the back hopper. And once it's empty and reset, you can start again. Like so. Now as I say, it doesn't have to be a switch, a, a button uh, as an input. You can have the tripwire hooks or you can have uh, a lever uh, or you can have pressure plates. Let's push it. If we stick a pressure plate there, Now if we start the race we could run over the pressure plate, that will start the clock, we'll do a little circuit or whatever and we'll run back over the pressure plate and that will turn the uh, turn the clock off. Now this is not, you know, this is not completely 100% accurate, uh, if you're on the server a little bit of lag could cause it to slow down a little bit but if you're comparing two horses uh, you can get a good comparison using this. If you're having a race with one of your friends uh, and you're timing it then this could work for that. If you're having a boat race 
Uh, you could use a tripwire hook across the water and you could race through that. Uh, any number of things could be used for, but uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's just a very, very simple and very small. I mean, you can't get much smaller than that. Uh, it's, a, it's a 3 by 3 by 3 stopwatch, which is pretty awesome. If you want to tidy up the back, just get your block of choice and stick a few blocks in around the side like so and that way you can't see through and then all you can see is the, the hopper at the front press the button reset it and you're off and running so there you have it everybody that is a very very simple easy to build resource friendly stopwatch that you can use in Minecraft I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial if you have please don't forget to leave a like uh, share it with everybody you think might be interested and if you really love it, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. This is Fully Off, and I'm out of here.